Okay, it's uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, the, oh no, it's not 16th. I'll go behind with this. It's the 18th of September and it's half two. So just time to do a quick call before weird children start arriving home. Hi, Mike's Graphics. Um, so yeah, I have been spending way too much on stock recently. Um, I think it was partly I was I was sort of sourcing. Um, hi Sue, um, I was sourcing a lot online because you know we were away a lot in the summer, and I was still trying to get some stuff in. And um, also, it's quite expensive around here, so I tend to pay up for stuff. But quite honestly, um, stuff's not selling quick enough. And like I, I mentioned on. Monday, I think. I've kind of done the opposite of what Karen's done. Karen's done brilliantly and going from like part time uh, profit to full time profit. And I've kind of done the opposite because I'm spending so much on stock. Um, so I went out today and thinking, right, I'll go to some kind of Twilight Zone area shops. Um, if you know Reading, you probably know where I mean. Uh, I used to have the other the two little scrubber shops on the way to the expensive place, but um, one of those is closed down, so I went in a different direction. Uh, I've got some bits. I have got some cheaper bits. I did pay up for some stuff, and also I bought some stuff myself. So, but that's fine because that's saving money, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd have bought it new. Um, hi, DBG. Hi, Bronwyn. Hi, Sam. Yeah, a little surprise. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased actually. I'm quite pleased, quite pleased. Um, right, let's show you what I've got. Uh, well, yeah, actually, so I've got this for me. Um, it's Indigo Collection Junior. <laughs> it's new, so Marks and Sparks, it was six pounds. It's aged 13 to 14, so I tried it on. Um, hi, Bert, hi, Sophie. Oh, hi, Sophie. Um, but I think this will this will do me lovely for the winter, um, and it is a real like um, I love all this. I I did feel it I'm not very good with wool, but it's got some wool in it. But it's also acrylic and uh, but I, you know like cable knit and this kind of tweed and like these kind of faux leather buttons, pockets, little tissue in that. I I love this sort of thing. This is so me. Uh, my husband will literally hate it because he hates cardies, he hates buttons. But you know when you just love something so much, I just know this is just going to be my granny cardie this winter and I'm going to wear it loads and loads and loads. Yeah, thank you. And the other thing I've got for me. Um, hi, Karin. Having a break. Well done. Um, yeah. So I think this is the box. So essentials, which is is you know fairly cheap for jewelry anyway. So it was a fiver. But the can you see that they are it says it's sterling silver and amber, I presume. Um, so for me, actually, it's not really. I don't know. There's some weirdness going on today. Cause, I mean, like kind of a golden brown brown colour. It's not really my bag, but um, I do wear studs, and I thought, God, they're gorge. So. They'll be going in my little ear holes. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Getting stuff for yourself. Age 13 to 14, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm little, but, you know, I mean, some of Connie's friends, they're bigger than me, and she's just turned 14, and they're 13. So, um, I'll that off for a little minute. Hi, Heather. Uh, no, I've just been... Um, I've just been down a different road in Reading, trying to seek out some slightly cheaper stock and also Karen's video I was plugging it on Monday and still plugging it because I loved it um about how she went from part-time to full-time income really kind of got me back into gear and I kind of thought well actually get out and do some blooming work you know you can't sit at home moaning that sales are rubbish go and find the stuff so I've gone and found the stuff well a bit so it's charity shop shopping charity shop haul um hi tap paddler yeah um oh yeah they're lush 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 um don't know where to start uh oh i'll start with the massive blankets so yeah I mean, some of it's not so cheap but some of it is definitely cheap um yeah went to i got two massive pink blankets 
vintage blankets which just say all wool made in England pure new wool they're not like Whitney or whatever it is oh I might try and get that yeah can you see that so um but vintage they haven't got any stains on some of the stitching has come from one of the edges but uh two of those 50p each so it's like can't be prices and i think i'll stick those on at 20 quid each um that's been medium parcel i think um this is a bit of an expensive one but i cannot resist barber can i resist it i paid a tenner but to be honest that's what I pay for shirts anyway, and this is a jumper. There we go. Um, and it's quite a nice size. It hasn't got sizing in it, so I'll have to do measuring. I was checking it over, like, thinking, oh, it's bound to have a hole in it. Hi, Crispy. Hi, Mum, five cents. So, um, yeah, it's cashmere, cashmere blend, wool with cashmere. How much wool? 92% wool. Oh no, 92% Angora and the rest I presume is cashmere. Um, but I will probably go for 35 on that. I'll go for 35 on my shirts generally. So um, that, that's all good. That'll be fine. Um, then I got a lovely cross stitch, little badges right up my street, this sort of thing. And it was four pounds and it's got lots of lovely um, skeins in it. So definitely be a 25 to 30 back on that um right what else did i get yes yeah, there is some vintage bits coming up and there's these bits are not so vintage so this is just a gant shirt but it's cheap uh yeah button down it's really i can show it's kind of like light blue but with like white dots it's really pretty um and it's an xl 17 inch neck um and it was oh yes it was from the really cheap shop um it was a quid it's, it, uh, it's fast becoming like a new local special place to be honest not as big nowhere near as big little but prices that's where the blankets came from at 50p each and yeah quid for it, all the clothes in there are a quid so quid for that and the, uh, gan is pretty uh yeah pretty uh 22 to 25 or something I'll put that on for I think. Um, this was also on the 50p rail outside, and it's only H&M, but it's really pretty. Sequins, very boho, hippie. Um, if I didn't feel the cold so much, I'd wear this sort of thing with jeans, but I just do. So, I mean, I, I don't know, it's 50p, and I thought, oh, God, even if I put on for seven, it's similar, you know, mark markups that I've got with my jewellery at the moment. So, you know, I... I think it's going to be different like I always used to be like I want to get a tenner out of something I think with the jewels I'd be happy if I can get a fiver out of something um and I'm starting to realize well a I need to spend less money on stock and b um oh that's my memory I forgot what b was uh yeah spend less money on stock and b you know take a fiver out of something maybe and so my husband said maybe you should have a lot of cheaper items in your shop because he said you get so excited when that ka goes off <laughs> like you might get more ka-chings and I thought even though I would know it's not as expensive uh, as an expensive sale he's right if I hear more ka of a day I'll be in a better mood and that's better for everyone um pink harpy got a box of a uh, box of skeins did I just say show you some skeins? I've got some skeins actually. How did that just come up? Um, oh right, yeah, the cross stitch. Um, is it? Uh, I would bundle them. It depends how many you've got. I if you've got loads and loads, you could bundle them by um, colours and make like 20, 25 pound bundles. Um, or, in fact, speaking of skeins. Um, and just to say whether they are, so you've got like the um, cross stitch cotton skeins, the thinner ones like that. And then um, I've just, also from this shop, I uncovered um, a load of tapestry wool, tapestry um, skeins. 
and they're all just like loose floating around and i said oh how much for them and they said two pounds so i've got a carrier bag full um and i will probably go 25 maybe 2025 for this carrier bag of tapestry schemes i haven't done the tapestry ones before they're like thicker thicker wool um and i, I yeah i'll bundle those up so two to 2025 all good um yeah people will buy like in groups of colors unless it's a great deal and then they might buy all yeah and talking of skeins this is from a different shop I really like dealing with the crafty stuff. Um, I don't know if you saw me on my Insta, um, Shelster H, when I picked, I put on the other day, I picked up a load of like wooden, last time I researched it, and this was about a year ago, and it was, um, sorry, just to answer Pink Harpy's question, um, and it was like the cotton skeins. They seem to be selling for about three for a pound, um, but those, tapestry ones possibly more yeah possibly more depends which ones you've got um yeah so i yeah i see so, oh god i saw some really big bags of the anchor um cross stitch skeins and three big bags and i was like oh, i so want these but they were 10 pounds each and i was looking i'm like no it just isn't worth it if, even if i'm going on the if three made a pound it just wasn't worth the outlay it's such a shame because i love selling that sort of stuff yeah, getting those wooden bob bobbins the other day. Oh, my God. They're just, I don't know what it is. They're just so nice. It just feels like there's history in them and crafty stuff. You just seem to be dealing with lovely people, <laughs> like the collectors. They're just lovely. Um, anyway, yes, I, I don't know about wool at all, but I picked this up and it's out. Baby Llama. Baby Llama wool. Yeah, Baby Llama. Misky. Oh, it says something else on that. I can't read the brand. Oh, mirror, mirror soul. Anyway, that for a fiver. And I had a quick look, and there's eight of them, and it I think 25 to 30, I think. No, maybe 30. I think maybe 30 quid back on that. So happy with that. Um, because of, because of the wool it is, I think, because it's well, I looked at a baby lamb and I thought, well, that's surely got to be worth some money. So um Might put them on Etsy. Yeah, I gave up on Etsy because I just haven't got the patience. Um, but I know you can get better get a better return on Etsy if you're willing to wait. Do I buy bulk online? Uh, very occasionally. Very occasionally. Um, doesn't always work out for me. So I know I've got to, I, I've got to do all sorts. I think we all have. We've got to get ourselves out there. Um, yeah i think i've no idea about wool you know who would really know about wool is mel because she's into a crochet and everything um all i'm thinking is if it you know obviously if it's something like cashmere wool or you know like i've seen a baby llama this gotta have some value surely yeah, that's all good um then i've got what are we doing on time yeah quarter three such a shame that this is such a boring you know like it's just beige but beige has been in it's linen it's massive i think it's an yeah it's an excel it's four pounds but check the label liberty liberty has a following even though it's not got the gorgeous print i mean and linen people like linen and it's huge so and it's all good four quid it's got to be 20 20 to 25 i think so that's fine and then i've got a uh, cashmere cashmere cardi that's my bread and butter really um, oh, pure cashmere so I it cost me 6 99 and I will put it on for 35 it's generally what I sell cashmere for unless I end up sending out an offer but that's grey and it's cardi and loads of cashmere selling at the moment so it shouldn't be a problem oh this one's a bit of an odd one this is a very odd one for me, actually, and I paid six ninety nine. I, I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. I think I'd got into buying mode. It's a body warmer thing. 
um, but it, and it's Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Resort. Fucking frick. How can you see that? Oh, God. String yard, I hate you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Disneyland Resort Paris, and it's got like a check the zips work, and it's got a, it's just very subtle. It's got a little, you know, grey and black and white. Um, what do you call that? Plique, embroidered. Um, Mickey? Mickey, Mickey, even yeah, yeah, quite. I think it's, they had um, size fourteen on it, ladies fourteen. I have no idea, but I thought it's definitely the time of year for this sort of thing. So um, I don't know. I've got to be able to put it on for twenty, haven't I? Seven pounds. Yeah, I don't know why I bought that. To be honest. Um, well, I probably do. I kind of feel like, oh well, doesn't have a bit of a follower. Um, yeah, is this one going to be? Yeah, this is all vintage coming up. Um, DVG, the amount of liberty I've left behind in charity shops because I thought it was shite. Ah, I love, I love liberty. If it's a lovely, lovely print as well, I've got quite a few ties. I've got, I've got a shirt which is this strawberry thief, the little bird, the strawberry thief, um, which is in my wardrobe because I couldn't bear to sell it. Um, yeah, so back to, so this was 50p, and it's vintage E-Town. God knows from what year this would be from. Um, check that out. It's remarkable. I, remark, I remember my nan sewing, like, dresses and things for us and using this. I've forgotten what this is called, this Ziggy Zaggy, but it's very, uh, what is it? 70s very 70s isn't it that ziggy zag stuff and it was 50p and i just thought oh my god i've got to be able to get a fiber out of it i just wow just couldn't leave it behind mentally noted good well my face going he left all the liberty behind um yeah so whoa somebody's gotta love that haven't they um and then a but so now we're inside the shop so we're on to a pound a piece so it says Kilkenny, what else does it say? Pure New Wool, and it's a dog's tooth. Is this dog's tooth? Is it dog's tooth? Can it be dog's tooth when it's not black and white? It can, can't it? Um, yeah, so do you call that a box pleat when it's a, like a wide pleat like that? It's lined, it's quite a, well, it's like a dress on me, but um, yeah. So a pound and I will probably set that on for 15 pounds, I think. 15 or 20. Rickrack. Rickrack, what's Rickrack? Kilkenny shot's good. Oh, what, this, is this pattern Rick, Rickrack? Sorry. Oh, the um, wavy stuff, is that Rickrack? I'll look it up afterwards, um, but yeah. Yeah, well, I look at solds, but I'm guessing 15 to 20 for that. Nice size. Um, and a nice profit. I mean, yeah, these some of these bits, is this is what I need to be doing. Lovely. Um, and then this is a 1980s. Um, it's fabulous. Set. I did say I wasn't going to be doing vintage anymore, but I've changed my mind like I do a million times a week. So this is a 1980s St. Michael label. Um, and handily, actually, it does have a date in here that it was made, September 82. And it's like a velvet feel. But, wow, I mean, look at the stripes on this. Velvety feel. I just, I don't even know if there's a market for this, but I couldn't leave it behind. It says 16, but I imagine it's probably more like a 14 now. And I'll do some measuring, but yeah. Yeah, it smells all right. I couldn't, and once I was in there and I'd already got the 50 piece, I just, just started doing a mountain on that. And I couldn't find anywhere to put it all. So I put, I found a table where they like serve cups, cups of tea. And I said, I can't, I just, and I was like, put my mountain of stuff up and just chucking stuff on it. So that was a quid. Um, and then, oh, I think this is the last thing actually. Oh no, I've got a bit of jewelry as well. A bit of jewelry, um, a little curly bag, um, which, uh, is unbranded, I think it's faux leather, um, and it's got this, I think it's plastic. It's quite cute, that. And so that was a quid, and it's in really good condition, and I think 
I'm going to stick it on for about 18, about 18 pounds. I'm doing, I mean, this is much more like it. The margins that I'm going to get off of this lot, much more like it. Um, yeah, they're in really good condition, this. So, lovely, lovely. Um, I uh, may have made a slight mistake with <laughs> some of this. I get a bit dazzled. Uh, this. I really love the colours, but I suspect it's just, it was £1.50 and I suspect it's just modern, God knows what. It's kind of pewter coloured at the back, but I doubt it's pewter. Um, it's not stamped, signed in any way. I don't, I just, I don't know what I've picked up there. You could, if somebody who knows might say that's Claire's or something. I really don't know. So it might just be bundle fodder. Um, stripy skirt, I think we used to call them drin, drin, dirndl skirts. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I'll try 18 on that Kelly bag because it's in such good condition um, and take less if I need to. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was doing with that. Um, and then three more brooches. I paid £2 each for these um, from different shops and I may have overpaid because obviously at the weekend I was getting more for 50p each but this is just gorgeous. It, I just, I just, I don't know, this kind of baby pink I'm a sucker for and also sparkly stuff I'm a bit of a sucker for. And I don't know if it's, I don't know, because I'm thinking, I've got a couple here that are 40s and they have got like the safety catches. So I've got that sparkly one, which I think is 40s. And they have got safety catches like, um, like that, like a modern safety catch. But this has got a simple C catch. You can... How do I? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm going to show you the simple C catch. Well, oh, won't focus. Oh, that way, that will help. There you go. Right, now you can see the simple C catch. Um, there. I feel it's older than 40s, but... Um, a jewellery expert may tell me otherwise, Lex. <laughs> um, I have ordered myself a little book uh, so I can do some research. As I know I can research online, but I'm going to be poring over my new book when it arrives. But yeah, love that, gorgeous. That's two pounds. Um, and I don't know what to price that at yet because I don't know its age. Um, oh, Karen met her. Darren, 17 years ago today. Are you doing anything to celebrate? I'm going away with Tom, uh, not this weekend, next weekend, and we're going to um, Wales. I think, yeah, we're staying in Cardiff. We're going to go to Barry, and that's some kind of anniversary, apparently. I didn't realise. Um, yeah, see you later, Pink Carpet. Yeah, mine are walking themselves back now, which is amazing. Um, and then this, I think this is an old one. So this costs two pounds. Um, I don't know if that's shell or plastic. The um, the the flowers. Um, so it's some kind of gold toned metal. But again, uh, check out the check out the simple catch on that. Well, not catch, clasp. And can I show it to you? Oh, there we go. You can kind of see it there. So I think it's an oldie. I'm thinking it's more turn of the century because of the back, because of the clasp and that. But again, so, oh, actually, yeah, and the pin does go. Oh, that's meant to be a sign. The pin, can you see the pin extends past the simple catch? That is meant to be a sign of it being a bit older, actually, and being quite an early one. So I would, I would, yeah, I'm that, yes, that's the first one I've had that's extended that far. So I would put this as being early, so that will help me research it. But yeah, lush. Um, did I get them out of a cabinet? Yes, I think they were all out of cabinets. Yes, 
I had, in fact, I had more stuff coming out of cabinets. I had women in shops putting whole trays out for me. And I was going, oh, that one's broken. Oh, that's, oh. And um, there was something thinking, God, live, because I was pouring over them all. But yeah, they're all in glass boxes and cabinets. And then the last one, which I'm really chuffed with, and some people might recognize, I love, um, I don't particularly love this blue, it's porcelain. Um, but I do love Limoges, and this is Limoges. Oh, can you see that? Limoges, France. It's not focusing very well, is it? Um, anyway, yeah, so two pounds for that. And um, God, some of them, the Limoges ones, have been done onto like solid nine carat gold and stuff, and they go for like 100 quid. But this um, is just, I can't see any stamps. It's just going to be gold tones. So um, probably go for about 12 quid, I think, on this. Um, so, yeah, smaller margins. But again, this is the sort of stuff. Enjoy picking it up, enjoy listing it. And when you're photographing, it's simple as. So it doesn't matter, I think, that so much that, and, and easy to package, um, that it's less of a profit on each one because, you know, it's quick to list and store and all the rest of it. So it has its um, up. God, I can't words. The opposite of drawbacks. Benefits. It has its benefits. Yeah, so I think that's all about oh sugar. Um yeah. Yeah, so yeah, quite didn't have to go too far. Um yeah, quite happy with that. I need to keep getting myself out there and yeah, stop crying into my tea and get out and look for treasure so yeah perhaps three o'clock just time for another couple before the kids get back um and yeah have a lovely rest of your day everybody and see you soon oh bye 31 people <laughs>